Hi, my name is Dave de Bakker, Junior Campaigns Officer at Allied for Startups. A thriving startup ecosystem is the lifeblood of innovation in Europe, and to foster a flourishing startup ecosystem, preserving net neutrality is crucial. Startups are the backbone of innovation. They drive economic growth, create jobs, and offer groundbreaking solutions to today's challenges. Um, so it is critical to create an environment where these innovative companies can flourish and compete on a level playing field. Allied for Startups calls on policymakers to enable an environment where startups have the opportunity to compete fairly. And net neutrality is fundamental to this mission. Uh, it ensures that all internet traffic is treated equally uh, without discrimination or preferential treatment. Uh, so for startups, this means uh, having equal access to digital marketplaces where they can introduce new ideas and technologies uh, without being overshadowed by larger, more established players uh, with deeper pockets. Net neutrality provides startups with the assurance that their services and applications will be accessible to users without undue hindrance. This level playing field is essential for fostering innovation and entrepreneurship. It allows startups to focus on what they do best, uh, developing innovative solutions and bringing them to market without having to worry about their services being throttled or blocked by internet service providers. Um, Upholding net neutrality also uh, empowers startups to reach global audiences. Um, Europe's startup ecosystem thrives on the ability to connect with international markets, investors and partners. Uh, when startups know they can compete fairly online, uh, they are more likely to take bold steps, uh, innovate uh, fearlessly and contribute significantly to Europe's uh, economic growth and uh, strategic autonomy. Now let's avoid policies that would undermine this equitable digital environment. Uh, introducing network fees uh, poses a significant threat to startups. Uh, any link between access and payment would prioritize internet access for uh, some users over others, effectively creating a two-tiered internet uh, where only those who can afford to pay uh, can compete effectively. Uh, and this would, of course, seriously hamper uh, startups' ability to compete. Um, it would challenge the EU's innovation capacity and strate strategic autonomy. If uh, Europe allows network fees to be imposed, uh, we risk losing our competitive edge against third countries that maintain uh, strong net neutrality protections. Um, and the potential introduction of network fees could also deter investors from funding startups uh, as the barriers of entry and cost of scaling become significantly higher. Um, and this would make it even more difficult uh, for new companies to enter the market, uh, which in turn would uh, reduce the uh, diversity of ideas and innovations that are essential for a dynamic and resilient economy. So, in conclusion, uh, maintaining net neutrality is imperative for the success and growth of uh, Europe's startup ecosystem. It ensures a level playing field, um, fosters innovation and strengthens uh, Europe's position as a leader in the global digital economy. Um, so, by enabling startups uh, to compete on equal terms, uh, we support their potential to drive economic growth, uh, create jobs and develop innovation, uh, innovations and innovative solutions to complex challenges. So let's commit to supporting policies that uphold net neutrality and resist uh, any measures that would int uh, introduce network fees. Um, by doing so, uh, we can ensure that Europe remains at the forefront of innovation uh, and maintains its strategic autonomy uh, in the digital age.